All right, what's happening, everybody? David here. I am uh, putting together a tutorial today, kind of going over the simple in and outs of a single band compressor. And I know these things are all over YouTube right now, tutorials on how to operate a single band compressor or a simple compressor or whatever. So I'm going to throw another one on the pile and uh, you can... Watch it or don't, whatever you want to do, no problem here, Chief. So first of all, let's pull it up. I have my piece of audio here. And on all my audio, as always, because I know the sound of my room, I always do a noise reduction on my audio before I produce it. I do it first thing before I produce. I have a video uh, link that you could follow here to check out how to do that if you need it. Here it is, already noise reduced, and it's ready to go. So I'm going to highlight it. Go into Effects, Amplitude Compression. Let's pull up a single band compressor. Okay, so... Pretty much any single band compressor you have, if you have a uh, plug-in or if you're using the one that comes standard in Adobe Audition CC, they all pretty much have the same elements that you're going to play around with to try to get some good compression. And what do we need compression for? Well, it's so we can level out the sound of our dialogue or our music if we're playing a guitar or whatever. So you see we have some that's here and it's somewhere in the negative 13 and you go down here and we're looking at like negative 20. So it's really a big difference in volume. What we're wanting to do is kind of clip off some of these top parts without losing some of the dynamic of the sound, and we want to make the sound better. So to compress it, we're literally pushing down the top uh, without really disturbing uh, some of the bottom stuff down here. So let's play with our compressor. Effects, amplitude compression, single band compressor. Okay, so first things first, what is a threshold? Well, a threshold, that is where I want my compressor to kick in. So if I set my threshold up here at negative six, it's not going to do anything because I have no audio there. I have no audio at negative six. So that's too high. You can see the graph line here. I need something somewhere down here, negative 12, negative 15, uh, maybe even down here in the negative 19, somewhere like that. Let's do that. Let's try negative 19 because that looks like it might be beefy enough. And now there's kind of a rule of thumb. Um, you're Ratio, you want it to be for vocals or dialogue, you want it to be somewhere two, three, or four, two to four in your ratio. Now, what is a ratio? A ratio is the amount of volume we're going to allow through that threshold. So if I put my threshold at negative 19, let's put it at negative 19, anything that goes over negative 19 is going to have some compression on it. But that amount of compression is gauged by what we put our ratio at. So if I put my ratio at 17, it's going to be 1 17th of that amount of volume is going to go through. So that's why we kind of keep it low. 2, 3, 4, something like that. You can go higher, but you really have to work the attack and release if you do that. So I'm going to go ahead and put this at 3. I like 3. It's a nice uh, odd number that fits right in between 2 to 4, so it works really well. So we're going to have our threshold at 19, our ratio at 3 to 1, which is one-third of the amount of audio is going to go through. So it's going to clip down nicely. I'm going to leave my attack at 5 milliseconds, so it's going to be fair Really quick attack and I'm going to leave my release around 100. We can play with this if it ends up sounding too choppy and we don't like the way it sounds. That's kind of where you fix that in your attack and release. So let's apply it and see what it does. And so you see it cuts down quite a lot of those peaks, but it didn't cut it right down to negative 19. Remember, because we let one third of that audio go through because our ratio was three to one. So I know what you're thinking. Like, well, we actually just made this quieter. How does this help us? Well, the next step is we want to throw some normalization on it or some increase in amplitude, whatever we want to do for whatever purpose we're doing it, podcasting, radio imaging, whatever you need. So now look, we have a much more level playing field. So here, let's back out of all of this. Let's copy this and we'll do a head to head right here. Okay, so there's my original. There's the one we're going to alter. I'm going to throw some normalization on the original track. And there's what it looks like with just normalizing the raw audio. Okay, so now this one, I'm gonna throw my compressor on it. Effects, amplitude compression, single band compressor, negative 19, three, five, 100. I'm gonna apply. Now I'm gonna throw that same amount of normalization on there. Look how much fatter that looks. This is so much better for the ear because it's more, it's more balanced. You can hear it a whole lot better. So here's what it sounds like originally, just with some normalization. A major heat wave is beginning to look quite possible for next week, occurring from Tuesday through Thursday, maybe even lasting through the... Look at this. Some of those were down at negative 16. Let's listen to the same piece after compression and normalization. A major heat wave is beginning to look quite possible for next week, occurring from Tuesday through Thursday, maybe even lasting through the rest of the weekend. So 
the lowest it got was negative 10. That's quite a big jump. That is six decibels of gain. And all we did was compress the top end and we normalized the whole thing. So because we have more headroom, we can normalize more of the quieter pieces of the audio. And the best part is we're not over compressing here and we're keeping a lot of this dynamic range in our voice, which has a lot of value as a listener. So if you have any questions how a single band compressor works and why we would ever need to use one, please leave them in the comments or call text email as usual. Let me know what you think. Thanks a lot.